happy day I'm good <laughs> and I'm pretty hungry so I'm gonna one two three go my way into some hacks and see how good they are what are hacks for I guess they're to make our lives a little bit easier and so today I'm gonna see if these will actually make my life easier what are you doing I guess we'll find out all right you're eating a bag of chips chilling I just realized that I muted the video right when I put in a headphone and I don't need it great She's eating chips, she realizes the remote is on the other side of the room, and then her friend sits on the chips. What do you do when your friend sits on your chips? If it was me, I'd just eat the crumbs. Apparently, there's something with far more utility we can do to save this bag of chips and make them more delicious than they were to begin with. Man, I hate the face that they make when they get an idea. Like, uh, 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 uh. Okay, so she's making like a taco bowl, and she's cracking some raw eggs into it. That's actually disgusting. And then she's dipping it into a pot. Is that even sick? Safe? Ew! 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 Okay, and then you dip it in ketchup. That is absolutely disgusting. She likes it. It's like a chip taco omelet. I'm sure that the great folks over at 123Go would not recommend this unless it's fantastic. So it's time for me to sit on a bag of chips. Hey, Twink, have you seen my bag of chips? Oops, found them. Oh no, these chips are barely... Okay, they're actually like there's... Actually, still a lot of full chips in here. Maybe I'll sit on it again. Oh, oopsies. Oh, oh darn it. Oh, crap. Oh, oh can't eat these later. <laughs> Hacks, am I right? Sitting on chips really doesn't make them inedible. Like, these are still pretty big, but I'm gonna like crush them up even more. Just because I don't want to have like a bite of egg with like a huge chip in it. Yeah, she really sat on it. <laughs> She sat hard. <laughs> Time to do some hack cooking. You're not invited, Twin. For the last decade, we had taco in a bag. Now, we have egg in a bag. This is a 2020 movement. Start with tomatoes. It's a lot of tomatoes. Some onions for flavor. A little spiciness. And this is like a bag of plain potato chips. So, oh wait, wasn't I only supposed to use half of the onions? <laughs> Marble cheese, my favorite. Very nice one sliced. So nice they named it twice. This one I'm only gonna use half, the old cilantro. Some people love this. Some people think it tastes like soap. I happen to be in the camp of the people that love it. So I'm very lucky, very blessed to be here. Thank you. You know, we're gonna crack three eggerines in. It would be so bad to get like shell in this. So I gotta be very decisive with my cracks. Mm, this egg in a bag is coming along. Whoa. Egg in a bag by a YouTube hag. Ew, I hate that. Okay, here we go. Last one. Get in there. All right, now what do you do? Shake it up. How's it feel? It feels like really mushy. So there's a hole in the bag from when I was kicking it. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm gonna like, really get it mixed up in there. Maybe I should take a spoon and like stir it. Yeah, I'm just making sure that it's really, Incorporated. Yeah, that's pretty incorporated. I think that the, the one in the video, like it was like a half eaten bag of chips. There's a lot more chip in here than I feel was in the video. Ooh, gross. This is what it looks like. I wanna put another egg in it cause then I feel like it'll be like more of like a solid egg thing, kind of like theirs was, but I don't wanna waste another egg. I've already wasted three. I think we're just gonna go with this. I can't see a world in which this actually tastes bad. Like I think it's gonna be good. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> It smells like an actual taco in a bag. And I feel like there's like, there's not many foods that egg yolk won't make taste better. I'm excited for this. Are we boiling? We're boiling. Right, don't melt the bag. I hope it doesn't happen. It's a little big, but one, two, three, go told me I can do it. Well, it's a full bath. Yeah. This is just like hard boiled eggs though, cause you leave them for 10 minutes and then they're boiled. So hopefully I have to stand here for 10 minutes. Imagine going to a friend's house and they're like, you hungry? I'm cooking. This is my favorite, one of my favorite things to make. In fact, it's uh, egg in a bag, old family recipe, gourmet. You know, when you like kind of melt plastic and then there's like chemicals that come out. Oh, like I don't want to be like, hey, this is my garbage chemical egg in a bag. There's definitely gonna be chemicals in there. Really? Of course. I mean, there's chemicals in everything though, right? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. What about my deathbed? Like, oh, it was that egg in a bag. One, two, three, go. And then I die. This definitely isn't a diet food. It usually takes me like 
like several sittings to eat a bag of chips. This is designed to make it so you can eat an entire bag of chips in one sitting, which is a little bit nerve wracking. I am getting hot. Thanks for noticing. My uh, hand is quite sweaty. <laughs> but it appears to me that the bag isn't melting at all, which is nice. I want to know who came up with this. Who was the first person to discover that you can milk a cow? Who was the first person to discover that you can make egg in a bag? His hand's actually like <laughs> tired. How much longer, mates? 5.30 left. I talk so much that time just flies. Like it feels like I've been here for two minutes. It could be the excitement. I don't know if 10 minutes is enough for this because like an egg is this big and this bag, is she, like she thick. Like what if I cut it and then it's raw in the middle? You guys ever think about that? Soft boiled egg in a bag. Ew! <laughs> never soft had. boiled slime in a bag. You never had soft boiled slime? You don't watch enough YouTube apparently. Holy, okay, it's uh, it's 4.30, I think we're good. I'm actually sweating. It's seven minutes. <gasps> it's done! That is not done. We'll be right back. It's been in here for 30 minutes now. Half of the water has evaporated out, but it actually looks pretty cooked on the outside. I have to admit, it smells really, really good. Time to do some surgery. This is the big reveal. Also, I was doing some research because we had so long to like wait. And uh, apparently the inside of chip bags are lined with tin foil. So maybe it's not as toxic as I thought it was gonna be. Ew. It's been in here for 30 minutes and I'm so scared that it's like not gonna be cooked in the middle. It's not cooked in the middle. So they say 10, it's actually well beyond 30. So for a hack, it's like bing. And also I said earlier in the video that this is a full bag of chips. It's actually half of a bag. Sam took half of the chips out because she knew I was probably gonna waste food. But I'm gonna like eat a piece of it that actually is cooked, like just like the very end here and see if I get food poisoning and die. And dip it in my ketchup. Gourmet. Super gourmet. Hot. Oh. Mm. It tastes less like an omelet and more like, it tastes like bready. Try it Terry, what do you think? It's the best thing I've ever tasted in my Shut life. Up. <laughs> it's good, but it's not like amazing. It's not the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I feel like if you did it with a different flavor of chips, it would be good. Like what, like salt and vinegar? And if you mix it up in the bag and then pour it onto like a skillet, it would probably be way easier to cook. That's so true. And then you could get like a nice brown on the side and not overcook the outside so the inside could be cooked. But yeah, I actually like feel pretty disgusted at the amount of food I wasted because there's no way I'm eating this. I'm not just gonna eat like a condensed bag of chips. I'll fry it up later and eat it. <laughs> okay, good. I'm just gonna slam the most delicious food I've ever had in my life while watching the next one. Girl likes to eat. Oh, she's out of popcorn, poor thing. It's like eating a giant potato. Anyways, this girl runs out of popcorn, so she's like, let me use your- Wait, how could she- There's no way that straightener was on. Because if it was, ow! Like that would really, really, really hurt. And that is quite irresponsible to make it seem like you can do this without severely hurting yourself. So she's gonna take the popcorn kernel, put it in the straightener, and make popcorn. Wait, how did it go from like regular popcorn to like fully buttered popcorn? Well, I need to see if this one works because if it does, that's really exciting. But also I'm a little bit reluctant to use my hair tools in such a manner because I don't want to ruin my hair tools. Okay, I have a bowl of popcorn with some like kernels in the bottom and I have my straightener cranked up to 300 degrees. That's how I usually straighten my hair, which might be a little bit too hot, but I'm gonna use tweezers because in the video they use their fingers and I feel like that's kind of dangerous. Oops. Well, these tweezers just don't. They're times a charm. How long do you have to wait? 30 minutes. Hopefully not 30 minutes. I'm, what if it blows? Like, what if it hits me in the eye? Can I, can I get a pair of glasses? Those have no lenses. Oh yeah. Ah! All this is doing is getting butter on my straightener. I'm gonna crank it to 360. You look so cool. No, I, <laughs> no, I don't. I wish I could be as cool as you. Shut up. I knew you were being sarcastic. Second kernel. If this thing just like, Pops popcorn and shoots out at me. It'll cause like a burn. Like ah! Ah! Cool. Any minute now. Twinkie's watching in anticipation behind me. He's like, "What is this idiot doing?" Cranking it to 410 degrees. We're going several kernels at once. Dang, that was the best one I've seen. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh! Let's just see how easy they made it look in this video while I sit here and wait. Give me a break. And like she eats it straight away, even though it's like on fire, even though it's like 400 degrees. Whoa, it worked. Whoa. Eat it, it's 400 no. degrees. Okay, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. 
You can eat it after, it's not too hot. Let's go! For this next one, we have a girl putting toast in a toaster. Toasters are one of the easiest things in the world to use. I can't imagine a hack that makes it easier to use a toaster. So she's looking in there. I would never put my face that close to a toaster. This other girl is carrying an iron, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that, oh, well, of course I'm gonna assume it. There's literally an iron in the background. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that she's gonna cook the toast with an iron instead of a toaster. There's so much more setup here. There's tin foil, there's an iron, there's an ironing board. Whereas with a toaster, you just put it in and it's done. Like, I don't see how this is a hack. There's supposed to be something to make you play smart, not hard. That is actually quite well browned bread, I will say. And that cheese is perfectly melted. Wow, okay, that looks delicious. Here I have some bread, a piping hot iron, and some tin foil. We're gonna make a grilled cheese. And usually when I make grilled cheese, I enjoy putting butter on each side, but I melt the butter in the pan first. So we can't be doing that today. Hopefully a grilled cheese tastes just as good without the butter. And maybe this is a hack to not use butter for your grilled cheese. I also like to like rip the cheese so it doesn't like drip out the sides. Oh God. Paper cuts from tin foil, they cut deep. Five minutes? How is this easier than cooking toast in a toaster? And if she wanted a grilled cheese in the first place, why was she cooking the toast in the toaster? Like the problem with this is you can't see when it's golden brown because it's wrapped in tin foil. I can't tell if this is done. Like, I think I have to look. All right, I'm being told now that she does it real quick. So we're gonna do it real quick. All right, let's check it out. It's not bad. Keep her going. Is the cheese melted at all? No, the cheese isn't melted even slightly. Just cooking some uh, breakfast. You want one? Just to 15 minutes. Toasters, they're a little tough for me, but this is more my speed. Oh, is that a wrinkle I see on your shirt? Come here. No. You know you're in trouble when your dog looks at you like you're stupid. You're making me feel bad, Twinkie. Gosh. There's a lot of tinfoil on that side, so I'm just gonna go like this. On the bright side, at least you're not getting uh, like butter or something on the actual appliance. How is this easier? <laughs> I just don't know. Maybe it's because I have like more experience cooking grilled cheeses than I do doing this, but I find this a lot more like frustrating. I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit. We cook and it smells weird. <laughs> it smells super weird. It's so much more time consuming than it needs to be. Like with the egg thing, they were like just 10 minutes and you're good to go, but that was 30 minutes. With the popcorn, you do one kernel at a time, two minutes each. And with this, I'd wager it's like eight minutes on each side. <laughs> It's a fire hazard. You definitely don't want to leave your stove on and you definitely don't want to leave your iron on your grilled cheese. Maybe you could like rest the iron on the grilled cheese in between ironing your clothes before work. <laughs> Maybe some like moms out there do that. It's gonna take a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, I think this is as done as it's gonna get. That's pretty good. I was actually just informed by Sam that she sprayed both sides with coconut oil and that's the only reason why it looks like so glisteny. Ooh. Ah, that's pretty good. Gourmet ketchup test. Needs butter, tastes super plain. It's all right. Okay, so this girl's starving. She's like chilling in a waiting room. She pulls out everyone's favorite food, a nice noodle cup with a gigantic rip in it. So she can't actually cook her noodles in it. She sees the resident water heater. It, this is communal. This is a communal water heater. It's not for her. It's for everybody who hangs out in this office. And she selfishly dumps her noodles in it and the soup base. She could have just put the noodles and the water in and then taken it out and then like you used it in a glass or something. There's literally a glass right here. But instead, she gets her soup base all over this water heater. So everybody else that day, unless somebody washes this, everybody else that day is gonna be like, why does my water taste like curry? This is why. Is she gonna eat right out of the... She is. Of course she is. That's a ton of water for a noodle cup. So I have a water heater here at my house, but I don't want to destroy it. So instead of doing that, I'm going to try a hack that I've seen online that involves straightening. Okay, wait, let me show you. So I saw this thumbnail the other day. I think it's very obvious that she has ramen on the left side and spaghetti on the right side. Cause like it's a different color of yellow and it's a different texture of noodle. But I wanna see if this works. I can't seem to figure 
figure out why you would want to straighten your ramen noodles, but this is a, a viral hack and I want to give it a go. Here we are again with my poor straightener. I've got some instant noodles here so we can see what happens here. Oh, that's a sizzle. Hey, that's low-key working. Turning this ish up. I need you to be straight so I can eat you. I'm gonna flip them around just so we can make sure that we're not hitting ourselves right now. It is worth noting that I didn't put seasoning on the noodles just because I really don't want to ruin my straightener. And I did like strain the crap out of them. Oh, this side looks good. This side kind of has like, like what appears to be the beginning of burn marks. I just don't get why you'd want to do this. It is kind of cool because like it cooks the noodles together. No, it doesn't. This is just completely a useless thing to do. You hungry? Look, I straightened it. I know you like it straight. With my own hair, I really like to only do one pass even if it doesn't work perfectly. This is like what you do if you really want to fry your hair. Tastes good. I just realized that like, I just ate two things today that like my, a thing that my hair touches every day. <sighs> That's enough viral food hacks for one day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really do. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.